Hi, I'm Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. And I'm Lauren Lester, the voice of Robin and Nightwing. And I'm Paul Dini, the voice of Paul Dini. Get, Get ready, ready for, for DC All Access. Access. What's up, guys? I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Tiffany Smith, and we are up to our ears and Funko Pop figures on day two of San Diego Comic-Con. Now, don't call it a comeback, but Batman the Animated Series is surging back into the spotlight, reuniting the original voice cast for a brand new virtual reality experience. Well, I, I've been living with this character for almost 25 years, 24 years now, and to be able to inhabit him in the atmosphere of the Batcave is a, an incredible experience, and I think the audience is going to love it. Um, he's such an amazing character. I get asked, asked all the time what other superhero I would want to voice, and I say, who else can you voice after you've started with Batman? I mean, he's the guy, you know? And the great thing about this VR experience is that you, you, you as you're in it, you look around, and you're in the Batcave, or you're, you're in Gotham City. It's a really, it's a total 360 experience. Keep an eye out for the Batman the Animated Series Viewmaster set later this year. A new trailer for Batman the Telltale series dropped this week, and tomorrow fans will get to see a playthrough of the entire first episode right here at Comic-Con. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Your father despised men like Falcone. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I know you're trying to create a myth. Just remember, there is room for Bruce and Batman inside that suit. DC kicked off daily cosplay meetups yesterday, starting with a Bombshells event, featuring the greatest heroines from the greatest generation. DC Comics Bombshells writer Marguerite Bennett was on hand to judge the contest and see all of her beloved characters come to life. So we just finished out our cosplay contest and it was just absolutely overwhelming. I was actually upstairs uh, doing some other interviews and I didn't dare look down because I was so terrified that no one would show up. Um, but no, like we got down here and there were so many fantastic cosplayers. And honestly, it's something that from the very beginning, like this series in a lot of ways exists because of those women, exists because of cosplayers. Um, just the response to Aunt Lucia's just fantastic bombshells designs was so overwhelming. The variants that sold out, you know, all the statues and like all the collectibles. And then honestly, this just felt like such a culmination um, that, you know, like these cosplayers had sort of been like part of the the defining push that like told DC like this is something people care about, this is something people want to see more of. And, and so, uh, you know, but that was, you know, so much of the joy of working on Bombshells um, is that it's essentially all of the DC heroines in this alternate history of World War II and, you know, the major conceit of the series was the heroines came first. So, you know, no heroine is, is ever derivative of a male counterpart. And so, like, it's just such a joy just to, you know, to show up at, again, San Diego and see how much love there is to this series. I'm just, I'm so honored and so humbled and just so grateful to the fans the fans brought this to life. You can catch digital first issues of DC Comics Bombshells every Friday. DC Collectibles has a mountain of new figures on display at the DC booth. Stop by to check out the first ever action figure of Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and Bombshells figures for Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Batwoman, and Poison Ivy. Plus, you can see the brand new Superman the Animated Series line featuring Superman and Lois Lane. By the time you're done, your wish list will be bursting at the seams. As part of the Wonder Woman 75th celebration, the intersection of Island and Sixth has been transformed into an Amazonian paradise. Feast your eyes on a stunning series of murals inspired by Diana of Themyscira from artists Catherine Branick, Celeste Byers, and Christina Angelina. In Mad Magazine news, the upcoming book Goodnight Batcave enlists Gotham City heroes and villains to parody the classic Goodnight Moon. Grab your copy when it hits stores in November. Plus, a new Trump ebook collects everything Mad has ever released about the Donald. With bonus Hillary Clinton content for new Mad subscribers. Check out madmagazine.com for more details. That's it for now, but make sure you follow DC Comics on Instagram because Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman himself, is taking over the account to give us an inside look at SDCC from underneath the bat cow. And don't forget to click subscribe and check back in later because we're going to have even more Comic-Con news coverage for you. And not even the Justice League can stop us. But before we go, here's another Comic-Con moment. The moment that meant the most to me of Comic-Con uh, just happened when we were on our panel. Uh, there was a guy who had done some fan art 
uh, with uh, Kevin's Batman and with my Batman and uh, lines indicating that he really knew our shows. And uh, then he came up when we were on the panel, gave us the pictures, and then had his picture taken with us holding the things. That was sweet. But the really wonderful moment was when he turned around and he was like, yes! Uh, because it's that kind of interaction. It's really beautiful.